Hello and welcome back to Off Grid Style. I'm Nikki and today we're discussing the subject of becoming the gray man. And I don't mean that in a gender specific way. It is a term and it refers to blending into your surroundings and avoiding drawing any attention to yourself in everyday life or potentially dangerous situations. So let's find out exactly what becoming the gray man means and how it can help you right this minute and also if SHTF. You want to dress unremarkably, meaning you want to wear inconspicuous clothing that's neutral in subdued colors, avoid clothing that has blatant logos on it or bright patterns, and anything that makes you stand out. You want to blend in. You don't want to be memorable. You want to appear well-groomed. You want to appear clean, and you want to appear in good health. Being dirty, disheveled, or not looking clean will attract attention, and this includes your clothing as well. Even if you're in an SHTF situation and all you can do is wash your face and wash your hands, at least most people won't notice that because all they're going to look at is your face. So or keep that in mind. You want to adapt to the local culture and the people around you. So dress and behave in a way that is similar to those that are around you and how everyone else is acting. Don't look like a tourist. If you're in an unfam unfamiliar situation or unfamiliar area, don't goggle and glance around and, and stare at everyone. That's definitely not the way to keep being inconspicuous. Observe others and mimic their behavior, whether it's laughter, being serious, uh, nonchalant, uh, perhaps they're all, you know, standing in line, go stand in line. Um, don't draw attention to yourself with any unusual or non-conforming reactions or moves. You want to limit your personal accessories. Do not wear everything in your jewelry box and for men don't put on your most expensive watch and loafers, shiniest loafers, etc. if you're attempting to remain inconspicuous. Don't wear anything flashy or a lot of items that can make you memorable. Be low key, and this extends to social media, which, believe me, is being watched. Be very cautious about what you share, even privately, on social media. Don't reveal any sensitive information, personal or otherwise, and don't let anybody know your specific location. You can use a generic location. I live in Northwest Florida but don't say the exact place you live in. Be aware of your surroundings without appearing paranoid. Blend in while staying alert. And I do this all the time when I go to the grocery store. We have not had a lot of this, but we have had a few instances here locally where um, women in particular have gone to the grocery store say after work and it's getting dark out or it is dark out and they think oh well I'm safe I'm in the south or whatever their thinking is and they end up getting mugged and nowadays they're getting mugged for their food when they come out of the grocery store they're targeted either before they walk in or in the grocery store itself when they come out boom if they're lucky all that's taken is their food when I'm at the grocery store anymore, I scope out as I'm looking at the store shelves. I look around me. I pay attention. Do I see somebody a whole bunch of times, the same person? 
Uh, do they seem like they're shopping or do they have nothing in their hands? I also, on my way out, I will stop and check my receipt, uh, go walk up and look into a bag so that I can glance behind me and see if there's anyone coming out or if I noticed anyone inside that's now coming out, kind of creeping me out. I also will return my cart. I lock the car when I return my cart. And then when I come back out from returning my cart or come back from the cart return, I walk on the opposite side from where I'm going to get in to make sure that, or from whatever I can see, to make sure that nobody is hanging out around my car ready to jump out and grab me. Everything you use should be simple, non-designer, and non-flashy. Actually, the highest end designers are not flashy at all. They don't put big, huge logos all over things. Those are the high, high-end couture designers. Plain black, tan, gray are all good colors for bags and for backpacks. Do not use tactical colored or military style gear, including backpacks, unless it's appropriate. Like for instance, if you are needing to hide out, uh, bugging out, etc. The concept of being the gray man is very situational. An example is me at the grocery store if I'm by myself. I become a person who thinks as a gray man. The level of blending in you need to do is going to vary depending on your circumstances. Being unnoticed and unremembered is a skill that takes time to per perfect, so you need to start thinking about it and practicing it now. It will help with everyday situations, a la the grocery store, but it also will help with your personal safety in an SHTF situation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, say hello, whatever you'd like to do, and I will see you again soon. Thanks.